delegation from Botswana were welcomed by the city of George with regards to the recent implementation of the Go George public transport system. The purpose of the visit was to investigate the steps taken in order to ease the process of implementing a similar system in their home city. Well, we're here to welcome the Botswana delegation. Um, they specifically came out to come and see what George has done in terms of the rollout of our public bus transport system. The Botswana delegation decided that they would like to come and see and investigate how George municipality rolled out the uh, bus transport system and also how we got here. We had that uh, George is actually imp uh, implementing a system that is actually similar to what we are envisaging for our town, for our city. Hence, we then contacted George to say, can we actually come and see what you are doing so that we can actually learn from uh, uh, the project that you are doing. George transited from the minibus-based public transport system to the one that is based on larger capacity vehicles. That, that's exactly what the project that we, we I, I am babysitting, if I can use that word, uh, is um, intending to do because we believe through the introduction of such a public transport system, we can be able to reduce congestion, reduce um, uh, road traffic accidents and improve the general mobility of our inhabitants. And we are looking at Kaburoni as the uh, main city of Botswana and we are saying we want Kaburoni to move and move on the wheels of a bus. That's exactly why we are here because we believe this is a good example of on the African continent that we, we can uh, actually emulate, hence we are here. Um, good morning ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed an honour to be here this morning. Um, directors, officials of the Ministry of Transport and Communications, representatives of the public um, transport industry in Botswana, councillors from the George Municipality, members of the media, um, municipal manager and staff from the George Municipality, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our executive mayor that unfortunately couldn't be here this morning and as chairperson of international relations um, at George Municipality, it is indeed an honour to welcome all the delegates and the study group to a group from the Ministry of Transport and Communications of the Republic of Botswana. The Go George Public Transport Network is a result of not giving up on a vision, hard-fought negotiations, thorough planning and the will to serve and impact the lives of our people. Um, safe and secure and affordable transport. I trust that this engagement will be, will, will be a shared and a cooperative co learning experience for all of us, where we all share the best practices that will be beneficial to us all present here today and the citizens we serve. I told you yesterday this is the city for all reasons. I'm sure you've noticed how beautiful our city is and um, I'm sure you're going to come back for a holiday at some stage. This uh, marks a very important milestone in the project that we are actually uh, undertaking in Botswana. The project in which we want to improve our public transport system. We are here from Botswana on a fact-finding mission. We are here on a benchmarking trip. We are here on a study tour. We want to learn from you. The project also aims at uh, coming up with ways in which we can reduce commuter time, we can improve uh, safety on our roads, and also improve the mobility of the inhabitants of our urban centers. So today we are a team from the Ministry of Transport and Communications, uh, the Havaroni City Council, consultants, and public transport operators who are here today to learn from uh, officials of the city of George. 
Since your current uh, public transport services in George are provided by former minibus owners or operators, our operators are going to learn a lot from you so that they can be, we can be able to transit freely from the current system to the new system that we want to uh, introduce. And therefore we find the setup of George very relevant for what we want to do. And this is the only city that we have chosen in the continent of Africa to visit. After the press conference, the delegation were taken on a tour through the city to physically see how the system is being operated. So we're busy now. The first shelters will be ready in the middle of April. Um, we're going to put them up here for samples. The public can see and participate a bit in the design. Um, in the design, we'll show you tomorrow as well. We obviously looked at wheelchairs. You don't want the shelter to become a place where people sleep. You know, that uh, lighting, the whole thing has to be taken into consideration. It's about 50 50, so you got 44 seats, you got 40 people that can stand here. So, in the, in the past, with, the, with the, the taxi, you pay for a trip. Yeah. Now you pay for an hour, yeah. you get somewhere. So, you can, you can use a short distance, it's not wasting your money. At the end of the day, the delegation seemed pleased with what they've observed. Rowan Dupria, Heartland TV, George.